Onivia League of Legends highlights. Our second matchup of the round two is LNG versus Raven. But uh, he's 100 percent on his other three games, so we'll see if it continues here for Hung. Saturday but it's in cartoons, except it's not Saturday, and it's. You know what? They Legends. always creeped me out. I, I like. I knew. Th I knew they were there, but I never really watched them because they scared me. I think they, they were very so overly wow. positive. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, oh, a little shove into Shaohu. He's dead. Hold on. That's first blood to scout. I would love to see a replay right here because I feel like Just Shaohu. In case. Yeah, they, they are full Gala. on pressing. No TP. There's three he members there. Just now. Oh, this is looking really rough for Gala. They are putting some hurt onto him, and they oh, I took a little bit, but like got the cash in. Okay. <laughs> that was, I think, five far behind um, in terms of gold leads in individual lanes and playing towards his later on team fight abilities. Yeah, I think ooh, Flash coming out there as well. They're going to just get the nature's grasp here. Flash play from Shaohao, but they actually get the push back. And it's still going to be Crisp over the wall. He can't get him, but the sapling. No, it's Shaohu who makes the difference there. He gets a revenge kill on a scout. OK, how reportable is that? Would him die and they would both get out and they would grab the void grabs. However, now <laughs> talking about neutral objectives in general, he's going to be the second dragon of the game. Ooh. Got the nature's grasp out beforehand now. They get the double TPs coming in. A little bit of damage on the side from Chris. Xiaohao is in there. There comes the chain to Crystal Arrow as well. The, bl the whirling death coming over. Xiaohu's trying to lock down Zika. They have a lot of damage on the Gala here as well. Zika goes in with the flash play. Can he survive though? He gets it. He's going to get him as ZDZ claims his kill. And now Weibo can move forward. They find Weiwei slow here. They're going to chase him down. And that's the strength that Chris has on the Ash. They can't find the angle on the other side as the magical journey gets LNG out, but that's dragon number two for Wave. All right, on a side lane for Xiaohu. He does have his static shift. He's pushing uh, uh, the waves really quickly. However, you're trading a Rift Herald for a Botland Tower. Usually, we're talking about, hey, if you are going to take the Rift Herald, you most likely invest in a lot of time for potentially a tower. But look at the rotation coming in from Weibo Gala. Gala gets flashed. Oh no, Gala missing the chains of corruption and Light will claim his kill. A big cash in for Weibo's bot laner. Absolutely oh fun to have to keep himself out of this one. However, dragon, again, though. he created so much pressure on the side lane. Kang had to go towards the top side of the map. The second they see this, they pull the trigger. They're trying, they're trying to make them. I'm they assuming they're trying to pull the, the TP. Now. And they do now. So yeah. Sorry about it. Have health. Uh, Weibo just wanted to get the resources used to so pull away. That was so perfect because Shaku's TP was forced uh, by LNG. However, because the entirety of Weibo gaming half. The biggest thing for me now is trying to utilize light in any way possible. It's been a little bit uh -oh. quiet for this bot side, but LNG, they want to punish Shaohu yet again. They get TP, Temper Fate gonna actually hit. So now Shaohu, you gotta make a magic trick here. You are a magician. Is it gonna be enough? CC combo is there. Shaohu goes back to his clone, but it doesn't matter. LNG managed to punish Shaohu with the lack of flash, but what do they lose on the map? However, ZDZ is pushing bolt lane tower. He's going to take that one, but LNG are going to start Baron. Yep. 30 seconds for Shaohu. There is no teleport on their mid lane. They're going to have to fight these four versus five. And mind you, they've got the super squishy composition. They're no build team fight. Destiny did get popped, but he's not going to join just yet. Nature's Grass in there. Light doing a ton of damage. The Whirling Death going in. Scout, he's going to flash out of it. Beautifully done from Light. Gala, Look Gala, at Gala. 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 He's going to die to the Baron. Shaohao gets the kill there. And Weibo, they've utilized their map pressure to force LNG into mind control themselves. ZDZ's fighting the chase down. Crisp has the slows. And those volleys are going to help rain death on LNG. On just wants to get one more. Oh, the frozen volley not going to be enough. Shaohao. He's got the saplings, but it's going to connect on the Zika. They're under tower on a scout. Xiaohao might be overextending a little bit here as the trees, they have come alive. And here comes ZDZ too. Light's going to try to get scout here. And he goes golden only to delay his death. And Light will claim it. And there's so much that's going on in this team fight that Zahu is straight into that replay. And you see the second they pick up Xiaohu, they turn their attention onto the Baron Light with a fantastic lens flash out of the air zero. And they leave Gala in the back of Gala. the pit. Better 
Scout also coming back, but he's already full health, so he must be completing an item. Here comes the double TP, Zika on the side. That's Zanya's completed for Scout. Very big, Dragon getting low. Who's gonna get the smite bite? It is secured by Weiwei, so soul denied. Xiaohu gonna have the flank here on the other side. Tempered Fate goes wide. Zika now joining, but he's gonna back away because LNG got what they came for. ZDZ are the one desperately looking for something, and there's the flash out of the Chains of Corruption. Ooh, they saw Weiwei falling really low and they had blood in their eyes. You kill Weiwei right there, you take the smite out. That is Baron guaranteed for Weibo Gaming. However, you did not kill Weiwei. He's still sticking around. LNG, are not, they know that the Baron is going down. There's like double, triple, quadruple AD carry oh my God, on the side of so LNG. Weibo are trying to decide if they want to commit. Here comes the crash out for Weiwei. Weiwei oh, gets it! it! And that's why he was in finals just last summer. And now here comes LNG for the fight. Crisp is able to put some damage on the other side. Weiwei sacrifices his life. And now the blind, the whirling death. It's enough. It's going to claim oh. more. It's who claims his old ADC in Gala. Memories run deep, but teamwork runs deeper. And Weibo wiped the fight. They even catch out Scout here. They're going to lock him down. He goes golden, but is it going to be enough? It's trying to get some damage back here. He goes in. He gets CC'd, and Light claims him now. Light's about to get even more gold dumped into his pockets, but it's Xiaohu who claims the kill, and they're on to the mid lane turret. Weiwei's efforts for nothing. Weibo Gaming kill every single member off. Not a single buff survives for LNG. We talked about the power of the Maokai and Xiaohao. have so much vision on that ball quadrant. Weibo Gaming <laughs> know everything, Gala. Ooh, Xiaohu's getting some really good poke on the other end. Tempered Fate to deny some time. Ooh, we got a little top lane tussle there. Now the dragon getting low. Wait, wait, got it last time, but this time Xiaohao gets it. Now Xiaohu getting some more poke. Here comes the Whirling Death, not going to get him. The flashes have come out. There is a big Emperor's Divide on the light, and they take him out with Gala's help, and that will be Gala trading his life for it. Now Xiaohu hunting down Hung. ZDZ had ended up fighting his way to mid lane, and Weibo, they take their soul, they take their fight, and now they're marching down this Zika crocodile on the side lane. And they're honestly stopping the backs here as well. They do have a wave towards the bottom. Oh, 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 oh. Did He's kind of baited. He knows. <laughs> he ends up getting him down. Zika's still pretty healthy. <laughs> they're just gonna have to kite their way to victory. It's like uh, it's like that movie Godzilla. It's uh, but it, it takes a little bit longer than the movie. I feel like he will end up falling finally to Shaohu. Renek from Zilla goes down. Man, that was so sad to see because you've got Crisp there reapplying. And uh, it's paid dividends. It's, it's done so well for them. And now LNG have been put into a task to maybe have to go in four versus five. There's no freaking way. Your Renekton's dead. There is no teleport. You're going to lose the soul. You're going to lose the Baron. And right, right now, try and get something going on the map. Oh, there's a long range arrow. He will hit Z. Oh, he stopped. <laughs> he stopped right before the arrow. Oh, oh Han my Han goodness. Cannot say He's the just same. gone. That's, uh, that's a full build Draven right there for you. Now Xiaohu finding uh, a little help with ZDZ. A long distance yellow card and Weiwei. He's going to have that armor cut in two as the Whirling Death claims his life. Light gets another one. Seven and two for the carry of Weibo. And a little bit of memory in Sting for Light against his previous organization. Yeah, and it's just a reminder here. Weibo lost to LNG in Summer Playoffs 2023. And there's some sweet revenge. They haven't necessarily won the series yet, but getting that first dub here, knowing that they lost to this team last year, must feel good. They are crashing down the mid and top. They have all these Baron minions available to them. And the red side victory, not one to come often to our LPL teams, is gonna be a first strike for Weibo in this series. Get one best of five separating the end of your season or a continuation onto JDG and Weibo using their momentum off of that IG victory to open up playoffs to bring the heat to LNG. They take a couple more, one big at first divide from Scout, but that Azir made no difference this time around. And Weibo turned their eyes out of the Nexus and they'll claim game number one. LNG versus I, I, Weibo. I love Weibo Gaming. I, I, I just love what they're doing. <laughs> I feel like LNG are pinning them on red side. So let's go, Crab. I, I feel like they're going to get Xiaohu to deep into River right here. Xiaohu is wrapping around, which means that Weiwei does not know that he's there. 
Gala, There's a tree coming for you. Oh, yeah. well, you gotta watch out. Tree equals happy face for Weibo. He gets the nature's advance, and there you go. Chris gets first blood for Weibo. They strike on the bot side Still where we set them. For them. They are a little late to this dragon. Weibo have already struck it down to about a thousand health, and Xiaohao will claim that first dragon for Weibo. Yeah, absolutely. Again, they're playing with the timers, right? Scout was all the way back in base. It was resetting. Wait, 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 please! I think I just gassed or cursed him a little bit. Luckily, he won't fall, so I don't have to take any responsibility there. <laughs> but it is Weiwei Wei getting pressed heavily. Trade down for Xiaohu's favor. And he is going to push this wave in. He still has TP available. Scout's no doubt going to have to burn his now. Absolutely. That is a TP <sighs> down from another pressure point coming in from Shaku Gala. Ooh, ooh, ooh Weiwei. Wei. That's the nature's grass coming out as well. They're going to tag onto Weiwei. Ooh, double bubble. You boil it in trouble there. Pop Blossom from Chris. Those going to lock down Weiwei and Light rends his life from him. Zika is here. Gets caught by the Tango Bob. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's an avalanche uh -oh. coming with you. And he's got two in Tofus. That's double kill for Light. Make it more here with a trade back from Hung. He able to get down Xiao Hao, but the pressure is there. And Weibo look to press under the turret. They're gonna take a few more tower plates right here. There's two members running from base. They're looking for Zika, but diving right now are Renekton when you know that Azir is that Zika is stuck towards the top side of the map. However, they do not want to be taking any chances because the river has not necessarily been set up for them. They do not have any uh, resources onto the Kalista either. There is no flash, there is no heal for light, so they don't want really, really soon from ZDZ. And the disease looking at the magic number 17 oh. to add to his solo kills. Hank takes a huge chunk. Wait, 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 in a lot of trouble. Shahu looking for the angle here. Nature's Graph going to connect in the end. No explosive charge on him as it went on to Hung. Oh, oh he goes ZDZ. in. He wants to get some more of those solo kills you were talking about. Can't get the unstoppable combo and he might just die. Oh. That's why Scout is the Emperor on Azir. Number 17 you were looking for, ZDZ. Have you met Scout Azir yet? Crisp is looking. Ooh, Chris finding a nice combo. Tidal wave on the way out, though. Nice magnet sword. Xiaohu gets bubbled as well. Ren's not going to be enough. Neither is the explosive charge, but Xiaohu wants it with the buster shot. And there he gets it. Now, Zika has found a flank on a Xiaohu. Xiaohu's trying to rocket jump his way out of that one. And LNG left wanting after that as Zika found an entrance that, but couldn't uh, cap. Azir trade as well as Scout waiting to use this Emperor's Divide until ZDZ was in mid-dash, knowing he can't use the Unstoppable. But now we get to see Xiaohu pouncing on the Weiwei again. He's very tanky, has the Magus Orb. Tidal Wave coming in as well. He actually tanks up everything. And now Zika is the frontliner that LNG need. They will push them off Wait. this mid lane priority here. But it He's was again. also in the side lane that Scout got another solo kill on a ZDZ. CDZ is trying to desperately 1v1 Scout and it's just no going in his favor. Two solo kills right now for Scout and we said how he was set behind in game one and he was still all over the place for LNG. He was still the saving grace and right here he's banked. Two kills from zero from ZDZ. That is it's very, so very big for LNG when it comes to team fights. This Azir will be huge. And we were talking a little bit about uh, what's going to need to be banned by LNG, but that is here, maybe starting to rear its ugly head here. We will see Weibo actually trying to make a play on the Zika in the side lane. Xiaohu is going to tank the turret, does stutter step his way out, and that's an easy juggle there. A little healing from Zika, but the rocket jump will help Xiaohu get out to safety. And they get another one onto Xiaohu, onto this Tristana. Oh, Ooh. wait, wait. I don't think, uh, you know, the, the Rel is going to find it. And an auto attack from Crisp is the one that gets it. Xiao Hao just mind controls. Wait, wait, because I feel like... <laughs> oh, no. He's just like, oh, I messed up. <laughs> he does he a lot of damage. Because his team won on the top side of the map, and now they're looking for Scout. Not wrong. Not wrong. Scout's going to go for the play on the Xiao Hu, though. He's trying to get the outplay in for his divide, and he wants one kill back. He oh! gets it. Scout goes golden. He will not survive very much longer, but he got a kill back, and it was onto the mid laner. Almost takes down Light as well, but that's a big shutdown. 700 gold to Light. Still, there was a one versus four, and now LNG have pushed in the mid lane. There's Dragon coming up as well. LNG already have one. They have the Rift Herald. They can take so much pressure on the map right here from the side of LNG. Scout bought them so much time. Took down Shaku, which was the strongest member from Weibo Gaming as well. Great stuff coming here from LNG. We were waiting for a reply to all of this aggression, and Scout's Azir was the answer to yeah. mid lane. The strongest members of Weibo Gaming literally beaten uh, Scout and he still gets out with one kill. Now the problem is, 
Light onto the Kalista, an extremely short range. Rainbow returning to something they know very well, and that's split pushing power, bringing Xiaohu into the side lane to try to take one. This will be their first turret of the game, so finally returning to something they know very well. And anywhere near this Baron. Now they are pulling the trigger. Zika does have teleport to join his team if he needs to, but Shaku is all the way in base. And he doesn't have TP to get in. Nature's Grass coming across here now as well. 3,000 health on the Baron. Can Xiaohao even get into the pit? He's going to flash. He's going to go. He gets it. He steals it away. That's going to be a big bubble blocked out of by ZDZ. Triple knock back there. He will give his life but it is four Baron buffs cloaking Weibo. That's the problem again with like very short range in carries like the Lucian and like the like the Kalista, they are going to struggle when you have a lot of setup and a lot of broken your oh. team. Scout? Oh, oh, who's gonna get it? Xiao Hu flashes into the bush. Scout goes golden. He's gonna go for it. He gets the explosive. He's oh. dead in midair. Scout with the cool guy looks will not even die to the explosion. Three solo need kills. To fight for this. They could just give it over to LNG. It looks like that might be the decision in the end because LNG have a lot of strength in the five man. You see, he's stepping up. They just want it. It's going to be taken over by Weiwei. Here comes the TP in from Xiaohu. The pop boss of Double. Oh, and they're looking for the reset. Tidal Wave stops Xiaohu in his tracks, but here he comes with the damage profile. Crisp is in there. He goes golden. Zika flashes up the wall, finds a little bit of damage. But ZDZ on the scout, and they take him down. Now Xiaohu can go to Reset City, and it's looking like a beach paradise. As Tristana will have the distance, the damage, and the length had to find the difference for Weibo. They pull it back from the break and they increase their lead by 3K. And Weibo did not want to take the chance. The 50-50, the four versus five. They waited for the timer until Shahu is back up alive. Use his teleport. What a fantastic team fight from ZDZ. Brings it all back around. Again, the spacing, the way that Weibo coordinate. This team fight win is gonna net wow. them three towers on the map, the entirety of mid lane, bot lane, and top at the same time in the one. Well. You'll see that they're trying to take advantage of pressuring down the waves and trying to crash them at the same exact time. However, it wasn't the case at this time around. Oh, Ooh. you see Scout and Zeke have a TP in the back oh, line. Oh, Gala. He almost just dies outright. Now Scout with the double TP from Ooh. him and Zika. They get the Pop Blossom on a Scout, but he's going to go golden. That's a really good play call there. Here comes ZDZ, though. ZDZ wants Gala. Look how fast he is. And now Weibo, they take that engage. They're turning it right back on LNG. And LNG look like a bunch of chickens with their heads cut off. They're running around. They do get the calling back into Shao Hao. But here comes Xiao Hu. He wanted Gala. He can't get him. He can't get his old ADC, but he can take down Zeka. And Light rends the life from the crocodile. And now Weibo are on to the dragon pit and TPing behind it. Xiao Hu. Oh, I don't know if he actually has the angle, though. Uh, Gala try to go over the other side. Oh, my goodness. Explosions happen, and a fish gets served up for sushi dinner. Now, Light has found him, and he oh. gets the stop on the scout. Scout wants the damage, but he doesn't have it. Weibo have picked apart LNG. They've taken everybody but Gala, and now they're looking at the base. They do not care about your Azir. They do not care about your three solo kills because Weibo Gaming's team fight is they just win? that much better. I can't believe it. No way. They just went off of this as well. They still have the minions here. Okay, ZDZ's taking a brunt of damage, but Shahu cleans him up. Oh my goodness. One fell swoop, one giant leap, and Weibo, they're on the cusp of going 2-0 up for the second time in a row. And here we go. It's match point for Weibo Gaming. A triple kill for Shahu to seal the it's deal. Up. Time. Hold on, LNG is this Merwin yes, from Mad Koi coming into the LPL? We have seen this. Yeah. He's uh, gonna have a big spin. <laughs> He's got a lot of gold over, about uh, you know 800 gold over Zika. We see the dragon being the main focus right now for Weibo. They will claim their first one. Up onto this brand. And now coming back onto the map, you see how Shaoha has his entire jungle. If he chooses to go back to clear, but he's looking both sides. He's got the glitch to prison. Gonna hit Hung. That's a frozen fish. Gonna be served up for dinner later. That is first blood for Weibo yet again. Ooh, I feel like Hung thought that if he flashed there, the flash was gonna the be pretty. Light has joined the fight now, and Weiwei does not have a lot of health. He will get the buster shot at a scout to save his life. 
and Weibo are going to bunch up as a team. Four members know was a top set on the map. Oh. They know that Tang and Gala swapped. Oh, they're going to get caught again. Oh, ZDZ <sighs> claims that kill, and the ADC is getting all the gold. Uh, LNG have been able to put out. Now, Weiwei has already started the Reef Herald, but as you can see, ZDZ, no TP. So, Weibo Gaming can select this one gold. They already took first tower on the map, and there's no one to reply that bot pressure that ZDZ has been building. So much gold being given over to Weibo just passively here. Shao, <laughs> he's playing with their minds a little bit there. He will get bubbled, but Light oh! gonna pop the lightning crash, and there's a little bit of a difference in when lightning hits a fish, and we see that right now as Weiwei actually getting a nice stun on Shao, who he's gonna flash away. Chris trying to delay Gala on the other side. He's doing so much damage. Xiaohao misses the engage with the Arctic Assault. Light's going to go low with the explosive charge. Flash being burned by Xiaohao. LNG can chase. Scout was looking for the rocket. Tell me now, Clutch right here getting that Reef Trail hang is going to go towards the bolt of the map where ZDZ has been putting so much pressure. If he does hit the bubble, they could kill him. All right, the Unstoppable actually came through there. ZDZ locked up and taken out. Zika gets some revenge of his own. Zika with the solo kill, almost. We're not going to mention that Nami was there. Uh, on to ZDZ. But again, pressure in the mid lane from LNG did not result in a tower, but we mentioned how important was going to be that Void Grubs buff in terms Off. of... And again, I wouldn't be so worried if I was like, hey, you know, I've seen Ruler's Lucian, you know, get even out of lane. It's <laughs> fine. And then he destroys an entire, an entire game just by being even. However, Gala in the previous game did not show any signs of that, and I'm starting to get more They actually get the combo here. Xiaohao, he's getting the explosive charge. He's on. That's a flash. Oh, Scout's oh. under turret. He's going to go down here. No, the turret shot's not enough. And Scout gets out alive. ZDZ ends up having to get away from that one. Oh. <laughs> Trying to go for the cheeky play there. Can't end up finding it. Weiwei and Hung trying to collapse onto ZDZ here, but really the pressure from Weibo and Scout really bust her down those turrets. As now, we actually have LNG transition to kind of hover over scout on bottom side of the map but you have to be careful in these kinds of moments because that's where Weibo's quick decision making and long distance engage can come in clutch look at that it's a little bit of a drift and it's way way getting knocked right back into this death's grave Ooh, when we mentioned how pivotal it is to hit those Sejuani ultimates you are the only engage coming out from Weibo Gaming. And right now, without Weiwei, without the wave clear, Gala has already yours is calling. They could end up taking down the tower. I love it because Xiaohu at the beginning of the season was, I'm going to be the one to bring you to the uh -oh. mountaintop. Xiaohu is the one trying to bring you to the mountaintop. Now he's got to find a way to disengage from Zika here. It's going to be Chris by the flash out. Weaver's wall blocking the rest of LNG out. And look at that. Weibo as a team strong together. Yep, he got absolutely lululed right there. Gala has to flash out of the knockup as very, well. Very, very well played from ZDZ. And there is your solo kill from ZDZ. Number 17, baby. See, now actually they push into the outer tower mid. Easily take that one here. Weibo have you finally... Have fights. Because if you allow Weibo Gaming to fully engage onto one member and you lose your front line, very nice from Gala. That's exactly. really good moves. Exactly what we talked about, right? Use Gala to poke people out because in a proper front to back, you do not have the engage tools to pick up these fights. Uh oh anyway, he knows that somebody's over here. ZDZ is going to catch him in the bush. A lot of damage, though, coming back to him. Scout's going to go in, does get the reset there. Huge step and gets caught out by ZDZ. And uh, now LNG can take the dragon, force that hand. Ooh, right before the dragon as well. Yeah. I I'm just sitting here in my head screaming, finally. Finally, LNG are looking awake. Finally, these players who have been some of the top of their role are looking alive. Now, Light is looking alive his own right. That electricity is pumping through his veins, and he's taking down Hung in his own. That's a solo to him. Now, Xiaohao, who ended up coming in clutch there, can't make it out alive, and neither can Xiaohu. They'll chase him down, and it's Scout that gets him. Zika ended up taking out Crisp in the mid lane. That was that huge. 25, 30 minute mark where LNG and Weibo find a lot of their strengths in that regular season and uh, the team fighting comes to a head and we have both team fight comps now coming to crash together as uh, mid lane outer turret gets taken by LNG. This tier two down here but Weibo stands strong. Scout has moved mid with Zika. Light going in on the Scout there. Trying to take down these Baron minions. Lightning crash. Scout got to get out of there. Nice damage back from Weiwei who's going to get caught by the Glacial Prison. Here comes Xiaohu as well. A lot of CC can go down. Here's the seismic shove. Weiwei's flashing into a wall and he headbutts himself to death. Xiaohao claims it. 
Weibo Gaming catching LNG onto the rotation towards that mid lane tower. That Baron did not end end up resulting in too many structures for LNG. So Weibo Gaming should technically be happy with that with Weibo Gaming. Now playing for the other side of the Rift. And talking about the other side of the Rift, the Dragon has come up. So point it would be for Weibo Gaming. They're already taking it down so quickly there. Who's going to get the smite? It's actually Weiwei Wei this time. So Hook playing the second Ocean Dragon, but the fight afterwards is the important part. Zika goes in. He's a little bit too far. Nice lockdown there on his EDZ. Like Lightning crashes, but Gala is able to help Scout take him down. And now Scout tries to find Chris, but can't do it. Xiao Hu's trying to flash away, but he gets dragged back by Zika. And LNG are TPing into the bot side of the map. They want to try to do lasting damage to the base of Weibo. There is no damage left from the set of Weibo Gaming. There's just a Setsuani and a Lulu, and there's five members of LNG absolutely smashing those towers. They have the wave, they have the power. Can Weibo Gaming here defend? It's just a Lulu there's and the Setsuani. They got Xiaohao and Chris, but can they stand against the wave of LNG? They have one more wave. They're into the last turret here as well. The focus will be the Nexus after it comes through. Chris oh. goes down. LNG will not go quietly into the night. And we will go to a game number four. And for oh, game oh. four. However, you do have a lot LNG of side lane pressure. Versus Weibo. Especially since you have Aatrox and you have Nidalee. Being able to join the side lanes on Sand, Sand. they allowed ZDZ to pressure the wave, which forces Zika to reply. Now he's ditched the wave under tower. And looking for ZDZ. Scott has yellow card. He steps up a little far. Equalizer gonna separate where LNG can walk through. Oh, nice root donning shadow on top. He's trying to get out, but he can't do it. First blood goes to LNG. Second blood goes to LNG. And guess who's picking it up? It's that vicious cougar in the jungle, Weiwei. Wei. He's looking for Crisp as well on the other side with a spear. He's gonna connect it. And that's a triple, triple. kill for the world's finalist jungler. And then they follow up with a third kill onto Chris for Xiao Hao getting hit by the Senna root and carrying it over to light. A big whoopsie so right much. There. Even the base AP from the item when it comes to the Spears landing from Weiwei is really going to hurt those HP bars. It's only later on that the Needle is not having a very great time. Zidiz is not having a great time either. He's definitely <sighs> not. He's going to wish that he had some uh, wildlife repellent of some sort. because well, is lit up. Reef Herald going to be popped for some pressure from the side of Weibo Gaming. But look at Zika's positioning on the top side. Getting the charge in. Zika oh, yeah. trying to collapse over. Oh, Light, you're in a lot of trouble. Destiny on the other side of the wall. The Flash coming out oh. now as well. And Crisp just goes instantly on the scout, but the Dotting Shadow across on a two, and Crisp is already gone. Zika try to go for a side engage. ZDZ on the other side does have Equalizer available and his Flash. Try to play for a little bit more pressure on the map, pushing that mid lane wave, pushing that top lane wave, and try to get some of that standing goal that you've been mentioning on the map into your pockets. They need more power uh, into these jumps. Oh, this is a pretty great Baron Pete for ZDZ onto the oh. Rumble, but he's been chucked down so hard. Scout has the engage on the other side. Gotta watch out for the yellow card. Big Donnie Chat on three members. Equalizer comes way li too little, way too late. LNG are moving forward. Yellow card could be coming up for Scout. They get Chris first. Now flashing forward. Xiao Hao's getting in trouble. He's not gonna find any kind of reset. And it's about to be a full ace here. Can they find Xiao Hu? The last remaining member of Tongue Lash comes through. They might set this one up here for Weiwei, but it's gonna be Zika and a full ace on the Weibo. LNG are locked. They're loaded. They're back. And they want that game five. God, Scout is just so good. Oh my goodness, the TF pick coming in against Xiao Hu. You can throw down the equalizer. However, if you have to throw down the equalizer to push out a wave, that will give LNG a way to push through another lane. They caught TP. Han, but he's very tanky. He is tanky. He's going to have to burn his flash. I'm getting a nice healing factor there from Wei Wei. As, oh, Xiao Hu. Chris down trouble. Everybody's losing their health bars. And Zika comes in over the top for the kill. Destiny has been popped in a backline access. Scout will get there. Nice yellow card sets up Zika for a second kill. Q sweet spot's not going to connect, but Xiao Hao's going to heartbreaker his way out of that one. Scout has another yellow card ready to go. And honestly, those cards must have the Grim Reaper on them because he has been on point. One, zero, and eight. Absolutely shredding through that game. Scout with a phenomenal performance this entire series. No different onto this Twisted Fate. No matter what champion he touches, this guy is absolutely mind-blowing in terms of performance.
And now the rest of LNG, thankfully, have woken up to back him up. They have LNG is literally knocking on their front door whilst they're waiting in a brush on the neighbor's garden. They're trying to find Zika, but he played well, a bear. Right here. And this is crashing down their waves. You'll see that right now. Midland's gonna crash in a second. Doppler is already shoving and Bolton is already underneath the tower. Oh, LNG is just a matter of seconds. They got a full flank going right here. Donning Shadow delays what LNG can do. And now they find more. No shot how gonna flash out. Light is looking to fight back. He's gonna be turned into just a lightning rod for LNG's success. More kills to Weiwei. LNG kill everyone but Xiaohu. And they're on to the Nexus turrets for three days in a row. The LPL has delivered. Are you not entertained? A game number five on the horizon. Final a game of the stable series. Game five. The likes of on the side of LNG, LNG versus Weiwei. He's got a perma farming jungler in the likes of Bran, who is fine. Playing against a I Zinzo. hope that Xiao Hao can overcome that, right? Because we've seen now two games in a row, potentially, where he's not going to have that facilitation. He's going to need a little bit more of the control of the reins. And last time, it did not go so well for him. So I'm hoping to see a little bit of a comeback in that regard. As a uh, new and bright face to Weibo, he'll come mid lane to Scout, who will know his face very well. Nice little seismic shove, gonna miss, but forces Scout to step forward. And now he might just go down first blood. One more auto attack, and Xiao gets it. Nice. Damage coming out from Weiwei. He's gonna have to burn his flash, but Weibo strike first. And uh, in this one in particular, try to get something of a lead in objectives. And we'll take their second dragon of the game. LNG might be caught in the mid lane as ZDZ was looking for a flank. Doesn't He's in a lot of trouble. He does get the call from his support hung. Pulls off the advance of Weibo. Does end up clearing out the rest. Actually got his goal completed <sighs> as well. Ooh, nice. Oh, he hit Wait, the what? piercing arrow the wrong way, though. Gala still falls to light, or to Xiaohao, rather. And that'll be a second kill to Weibo. And even if you miss it... Chris had a pretty good flank from the top side of the map. And a lot of health bars were pretty low by a really great combo from Xiaohu. However, I LNG's guess... comfort zone in the oh. later game. Weibo looking to set up a play here. Weaver's Wall coming across, but just a little bit late. Here comes the quickness play with the grand entrance. Double TP, and the Avengers have been called here. LNG want to strike right back. Xiaohao with the Crescent Guard delays a lot of time and a lot of spacing. Now their TP right back, and Zika gets caught out on his own, and he's down for the count. And one member down means Weibo Gaming gets you a brand. Senna. Might be a game break if a do manage to get that soul later on in five minutes. I claim that one. Light realizes uh -oh. Light uh, he, here. he just can't find the way through. He's just gonna have to brute force it as the seismic shove goes wide. Xiaohu, he gets caught. Gala, his old teammate, gets the root on him. He's gonna have to burn the flash. Now Xiaohu in there on the back line. Crisp already popped the quickness and just goes oh. down to the explosive charge. Now the rocket jump reset is there for Scout, and he might find another one here. He can't get the damage down because of the Crescent Guard, and Xiaohu under turret with light, but it might be too little, too late. Late. Will the light shine through? Zika all is out of and it goes dark. ZDZ is here. Xiao Hao's here. Now TP from Xiao Hu. LNG might be in a little bit of trouble now, but they could just collapse. It is a 5v2 because All the major ultimates down and one man down, but LNG are getting a little bit greedy, which actually has allowed time for light to spawn the soul up. away. However, it was very, very messy from both sides and LNG almost overextending there for kills. Oh, they're just going to ride that wall all day long. They actually find Weiwei completely caught out and Light claims the kill. Now Hung just oh. sacrifices his life on top of it. It's a 5v3 and Weibo are on the Baron. They catch in Weiwei into the jungle. Your smite is down. There's only three members remaining from the set of Weibo gaming and they're trying to do their hardest to push waves onto the map. Lord. Creeps. Teammates, yo, enemy yo, front yo. Lines is going in. Scout is coming back in. He doesn't know. Scout has no chill. He wants more. Here comes the Abyssal Voyage, and there's one for Scout. He claims it with the explosive charge, and Zika found his way to a flank. It's a double flangle, and now Scout's finding another rocket jump, and he gets locked down by ZDZ. Gala has joined the fight, and LNG do not want to give up the fight. TP back I... in knowing that Shahu Ooh. is super low on HP and they have an idea that the TP is coming. They just couldn't necessarily capitalize onto scouts we to stand up. We're back now. alive. 
Yeah, we got half health on the dragon. ZDZ already on the other side. Scout getting engaged on by the quickness. Chris, he's getting low. He's going to go down after the explosive charge, giving a reset over to Scout, who's already dead, though. And now ZDZ, he's in there, gets his stare. Gauge pop. The dragon goes over. Mountain Soul has been acquired. And Weibo have set their sights on the LNG. Shao Hao wants that fight, and he'll take it all day. Light picks up the kill, and Weibo get everything they needed. And they're looking mid lane now. Ooh, this whole game has been back and forth fights. Weibo game and managed to get a out bit. of it. Ooh, shield bow just got completed for Scout. He will join the fight. Baron already half health. Weaver's wall to block out LNG. It's going to last just enough time for them to take it down. Although it will be a fight they need to take afterwards. Pyroclasm starts coming down. Chris going to pop the quickness, but haven't gotten the engage yet. ZDZ, he's getting clapped and he gets all outed. That's going to be a kill over to Gala. LNG get one back before purple capes for Weibo. Four Leo buffs are in the mid lane because they're going to get punished. They do have a lot of vision in enemy territory. And they do have also teleport onto the Renekton who's pushing towards that bot side of the map. Very Elder nice vision. Dragon coming up in 35 seconds here. There is a little bit of vision down there. LNG are collapsing uh -oh. onto ZDZ. The rest of Weibo are here to try to stop it, but they are streaming down onto ZDZ. He's going to use his slice out. Weaver's wall coming in. Scout is locked down. Scout going to get devoured, but Hung gets dragged back. Scout's in trouble. They have to save him. They don't. The double MVP from last year is already gone, and Weibo, they've taken two down. Gala, he's going to go down too. Everything's falling apart for LNG, and you can't write a story better than this for Weibo. Two times they have gone the distance, and two times they have stopped the reverse sweep. It was a bait. It was a bait. The Renekton was a bait. They thought he was all alone. They only see Shao Ha, but everyone flies in the screen. And Weibo Gaming, they thought they could close it 3-0. It was a it. deja vu from Monday. And they'll get another series they for get five games. All five games. It's over. It's done for. The Tiger King of Spring has reared his fangs. And Weibo, they'll make good on their summer playoff loss and they'll head on to the titans of JDG.